teachers and fellow educators, and welcome to Module 3, Assessment. My name is Peter Afflerback. I'm from the University of Maryland, and I'm looking forward to exploring reading assessment with you as we unpack knowledge and skills that we need to understand and use assessment in our K-3 classrooms. In this assessment module, we'll examine key elements of assessment, including the reasons why we assess, the different types of assessment, the audiences and purposes of assessment, and formative and summative assessments. We will also learn about assessment information to create teachable moments that improve your students' learning and reading. We'll investigate how assessments help us understand students' development in relation to different modules in this series, phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. With this understanding, assessment places us in the best position to foster our students' continuing growth in reading. Throughout these modules, you've learned about the role that the science of reading should play in helping to build students' reading achievement. A key to this development is using assessment data to inform instruction. Our teaching success depends, in part, on identifying the specific needs and strengths of all of our students and doing so in a reliable and timely manner. For example, assessment can tell us where students are in relation to developing phonemic awareness and phonics. With this assessment information, we can provide the instruction that best meets students at their current level of learning to help move them forward. Using assessment data to inform our instruction is just one instance of making the most of that information. We can also share reading assessment information with parents as we encourage them to partner with us in teaching and learning. We can share assessment with students as we use this information to motivate and engage students and also to help them learn how assessment works. Finally, we will examine formative and summative assessments and the benefits they provide to teachers and students when these two types of assessments are closely linked. Throughout this module, we will be learning about the positive influence that reading assessment can have on teaching and learning. In fact, we will learn that teaching and learning depend on careful assessment for guidance to near and long-term learning goals. I look forward to this learning journey with you, so let's get started.